it was definitely needing to adjust to a new language, a new culture, a new place to live. And for me, since I was seven years old, there wasn't much of a transition as far as adapting to something because when you're young you adapt to things more easily but for my mom it was a shock a culture shock a language shock and even to the point of maybe not even having a job for a certain amount of time because she needed to acclimate to a new culture and language and even knowing how to get around with not much help from or she didn't know anybody essentially from unless it was family members but you can't always rely fully because everyone is living their lives and established here so we came across at the parish we knew that there was somebody that spoke Spanish or a Hispanic community which was Our Lady of the Americas one of the uh, sisters from the humility of Mary, Congregation of the Humility of Mary from Davenport. She was the Director of Religious Education there at Our Lady of the Americas. And my mom and I started volunteering with catechism and, and helping there in the community. And she knew that my mom was a single mom and had just arrived with a seven-year-old. They came to volunteer to be part of our catechism. Yeah, Jessica seemed like a little girl then, well she was, but, and the grandmother also was here, so she uh, was a dear, dear soul, and uh, yeah, they started teaching, and eventually, I guess we knew how difficult things were for them. We became friends, and would go to their home, and have meals with them. Uh, we celebrated a lot of different occasions. When Grandma died, we were very close to them and very integral in that uh, experience, which was very difficult for them. Jessica was in college by then, and um, so we took them back and forth to Ames so she could be there for to console the mom and also to be support to each other. It giving us help, not just financially, but uh, allowing us to feel welcome in the community, allowing us to feel welcome here in Des Moines, in the city. And they really took us into their community as far as spending time with us, helping my mom find a job, helping me get into the right school that I needed to at the time. And they just took us in as a family would and as good friends. And even to this day, they are some of our closest friends for sure stands out for me was by that time Elaine was full-time in pastoral ministry and I was the religious ed director and Josephina came to my office her, Jessica's mother and um, sat down and she said sister I want to do something for the church I want to serve what can I do and um, we talked, she told me her story and that she had this little girl. I don't think Jessica was with her at the time. And um, we talked and I said, would you like to help in our religious ed program? And she said, well, I don't know if I can do it. My English isn't very good, but I will do whatever I can. So um, the more we talked and I heard her story, she said, I don't have much money. I can't contribute in that way. I have five dollars is all I have. And, but I want to do something. I want to serve the church. So I was so touched by her simplicity and her willingness to give whatever she had. The help that the sisters gave her was always support essentially and never her never feeling that she was alone her always having someone that she could turn to whether it was even a spiritual need a financial need or just support for something difficult that she was going through even the transition itself from my mom having to adapt to a new language and a new uh, culture they were definitely the sisters were definitely there to help her just be that 
group of people that she could always count on, that community that she could always count on. We had our parish community, but the support that the sisters gave with their friendship and the time and allowing us to go into their home and share a meal every once in a while, or them coming over and just always being there no matter what the situation was, no matter how my mom felt, uh, she always knew that she could go to them for any need that she had.